Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about copybook, or we'll see how copybook is useful for us and how we can create the copybook with the help of co uh, compiler directive slash copy. So mainly, copybook is used to access the source from one member to another member. Okay, so we will create one uh, member and then we will use the compiler directive. Uh, slash copy in another member to access that particular member okay so but uh, same thing we can do with the help of slash include also in our previous session we discussed about this include compiler directives so we can do the same thing in uh, with the include also then what is the difference so the only difference between copy and include is that like uh, if you are using include then you are not able to access the sql statement that resides in your member but if you are using slash copy then you can use uh, you can access the sql statements also so here you can see that i'm using one uh, program that is ext src1 that we will access in this compiler directive 6 program and the type of my program is sql rpg it means it it will contain some of the sql codes so let's see so once you uh, came inside the edit mode just press shift f7 okay, to see the all sources so once you press shift f7 it will show you the some extra spaces from right side okay so now here firstly you have to put slash slash uh, star star free on the very first position okay so this is my uh, first position so here i'm using star star p because it is used to declare that we are going to write the uh, source in fully free format so this is very mandatory you have to keep this star star free on this position okay so it should be uh, just below to this star now on line number seven i'm declaring one variable that is string character 30 okay so it will hold the character type of data and the length of the data uh, will be 30. below to that i am executing one sql uh, for setting the option that is commit equals to star none so what is this we will discuss uh, about these statement and sql in upcoming session in more deep but for now we are just uh, using this program to access uh, with the help of copybook because with copybook we can access these statement or the value that is generated or fetched by sql statement okay so for now you can just consider it as a uh, some four lines that uh, through which we can we are accessing the variable and in more detail we will see in the upcoming session when we discuss about the sql rpg league. so on line number 12 we are using one query that is select emp name into string variable so what it will do it will check the data in library in member uh, in file emppf that resides in library shermit one and then fetch the emp name into the variable string so now this program contain a uh, one variable which include uh, which uh, contains the emp name but here you can see that we are not using a star inlr equals to star on why because we are not compiling this source so if you are if you want to access any source then it is not mandatory to access to compile that particular source because in copy by uh, copybook we can directly access the member and no compilation is needed so from this source we can see that like here on the starting for fifth five lines we are uh, we have written some comments so on this particular place when you put a stick these lines are con considered as a comments then we have declared that star star free on the very first position it means it now we will write the all the sources in fully free format then we declared one variable and then we set one option that is commit equals to star none and after that we are using one uh, we are executing one sql statement that will fetch the emp name into variable string okay so that is completed now we will save it so no compilation is needed for this source now we will create another program that will use copybook concept and access this member so i will open it into edit mode once you came into the edit mode just press shift f7 
and then again on the very first position you have to put star star free for uh, for uh, declaring the uh, all the sources in fully free format now here on line number eight we are using the slash copy compiler directive that is used for com copy book so the syntax is like this you have to put slash then copy and you have to put the library name so my library name is sharmit1 then slash your source file name my file name is qshermit and after a comma you have to put the member name that you want to access in this program so i'm accessing ext src1 program fine so once this line is executed then it will fetch the data or the variables that we have declared in this member and we can able to uh, display it so here i am displaying the string variable on line number 10 and after that we are using star inlr request to star on so in this program we need that because we are we are going to compile this source but extsrc1 is not needed uh, to compile that okay so once it is done we will compile this program so here you can see that we are not declaring any string variable we are just accessing it from another member so i will compile it and call it show sure, it it shows me the name that is Sharmit that came from my file emppf okay so that's how we can make use of copybook or slash copy compiler directive to access the data from another source so now we talk about the difference between include and copy so the only difference between include and copy is that if you are using these statement these sql statement in your program then you are not supposed to use the include slash include and you are you have to use that uh, slash copy compiler directive but if you are not using these sql statement then you can access uh, the program with the help of include okay so two things that we need to take care of uh, first one is that if you are accessing sql rpg type of program then please make sure that you are uh, the program in which you are accessing it or is also of type sql rpg -ly. otherwise it will not work second thing make sure that you once you are in edit mode just press shift f7 and put the star star free on the very first position then only your compiler slash copy will work otherwise it will not work okay so these two things are very important firstly the type of the program because here we are accessing the sql rpg -ly type program so this program should also be of the type sql rpg -ly. and second thing we have to declare it in a full, fully free format and the uh, compilation is not needed for the source that we are going to access okay so yeah that's all for this session uh, in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things things so thank you for watching texture